Thanks for joining us. I'm Tammy Tremblay. We begin with some heartbreaking news. Three pilots in the Idaho National Guard have died after the Black Hawk helicopter crashed last night. Today, Governor Little ordered flags to be flown at half staff to honor the soldiers. This is a file video of the type of Black Hawk helicopter that the soldiers were flying when the crash happened during a routine training flight south of Lucky Peak in a remote area. Search and rescue teams found the aircraft at around 12.15 this morning. The National Guard is investigating how the crash happened. We don't know the names of the three pilots that were on board yet. Lieutenant Colonel Chris Borders says that information will be, be released after their families are notified. Senator Jim Risch released a statement saying, I'm shocked and saddened to learn of the deaths of three helicopter pilots with the Idaho National Guard in a training exercise last night. Mine and Vicki's prayers are with their families and all Idaho National Guardsmen during this painful time and thank them for their service to Idaho and the nation. And Congressman Mike Simpson says Kathy and I are praying for the families and friends of the three Idaho National Guard soldiers who were killed during a training flight last night. Our citizen soldiers embody a spirit of service and the best of American patriotism, and this loss is felt deeply throughout Idaho. Senator Mike Crapo adding, I am saddened to learn about the passing of three brave pilots of the Idaho National Guard last night during an exercise training. My condolences are with the family and friends of our heroic Idaho National Guardsmen. And finally, Representative Russ Fulcher says this morning I learned of the tragic loss of three Idaho National Guard pilots during a training flight. To the families of those pilots involved, you are in my prayers as our state mourns the passing of three of its heroes. Our hearts go out to those families, friends and co-workers today.